51,000-year-old cave painting discovered in Indonesia. The artwork, which depicts a human-like figure interacting with a pig, suggests that humans may have been using art as a way to tell stories for much longer than we thought. Archaeological evidence shows that Neanderthals began marking caves 75,000 years ago, but these markings were generally not figurative. Until a few years ago, the oldest known figurative cave painting was a 21,000-year-old rock art panel found in Lascaux, France, showing a bird-headed human attacking a bison. However, in 2019, archaeologists unearthed hundreds of rock art samples in caves in the Marospankep Karst. The rock art included a 4.5-meter-wide panel depicting human-like figures interacting with pigs, Sioux celebensis, and Anoas, bubilis, dwarf buffaloes native to Sulawesi. Storytelling is an extremely important part of human evolution and may even help explain our success as a species, said Adam Brum, an archaeologist at Griffith University in Australia and co-author of the new study. But it's extremely rare to find evidence of this in art, especially in very early cave art. Archaeologists have previously dated the rock art and found it to be at least 43,900 years old. The oldest painting they found in the region belonged to a 45,500-year-old pig. Now using a more precise dating technique, archaeologists have found that the rock art is at least 4,000 years older than previously thought, making it around 48,000 years old. Even more striking, archaeologists found a similar depiction of a human-like figure and a pig in another cave at Lingkarampwang. This depiction is at least 51,200 years old, making it the oldest known narrative art form. For archaeologists, the depiction of the half-human, half-animal figure, or therianthrope, in narrative art was of interest. Archaeologists are very interested in depictions of therianthropes because they provide evidence of the ability to imagine a supernatural being that does not exist in real life, says Brum. Previously, the oldest evidence of a therianthrope was the 40,000-year-old Lion Man, statue unearthed in a cave in Germany. These depictions from Indonesia push history back by about 20,000 years, which is truly groundbreaking, said Derek Hodgson, an archaeologist and scientific advisor to Inscribe, a European-based project investigating the development of writing. Says, Hodgson says the first evidence of the therianthrope is a sign of complex human cognition. You don't find Neanderthals, or any of the early pre-human archaic species producing complex figurative art. To more accurately date the narrative art, researchers used a technique called laser ablated uranium series imaging. Previously, scientists had dated cave paintings by carbon dating samples of calcite clusters that accumulated in the cave over thousands of years. But in the new study, Brum and his team used even smaller calcite samples, only 0.002 inches, 44 microns, long. By taking much smaller samples, archaeologists are getting a higher resolution of the age distribution of calcite in cave walls. The technique also minimizes damage to the artwork. This really changes the way we date records and can be applied to other records as well, said study co-author Renaud Jonas Boyo, a geochronologist at Southern Cross University, says, but not everyone agrees. Paleolithic archaeologist Paul Pettit of Durham University who was not involved in the research, says researchers need to truly take a leap of faith to argue that art is a narrative. The dating method is solid, but the team's interpretations are definitely not, Pettit said, adding that it is not clear whether these images are isolated depictions lying side by side by chance. Although the identities of the painters, who were most likely Homo sapiens, are a mystery, the lack of evidence of human occupation suggests that the cave may have been devoted to art making according to the authors of the new paper. The cave is located higher than the rest of the area. Maxime Aubert, an archaeologist and geochemist from Griffith University and co-author of the study, said, It is possible that these people went to these high-level caves just to make this art. Maybe there were stories and rituals about how to view the art. We don't know. But these seem to be special places in the landscape, says. The study's lead author, Adiegus Octaviana recently found a painting in another cave consisting of three figures depicting a human, a half-human half-bird, and a bird figure. However, the team has not yet analyzed the chart. It's very possible that there are more beautiful depictions hidden somewhere we don't know about, says Aubert.